We've had fiber optic internet for over a year and a half now, and I'm gonna share that experience with you in this video. The fiber cable that comes into our home is provided by CenturyLink. This magnificent fiber cable gives our home blazing fast speeds. And this is CenturyLink's one gig fiber. However, our actual max ISP speed is 940 megabits per second, and that's still amazing speeds. These incredibly fast speeds are from the light that travels through the fiber cable, which is pretty awesome. The contract that we signed with CenturyLink guarantees a $65 a month for the life of the contract. No price increases. And over the last 18 months, there have been zero price increases. Pretty cool. So in this video, I'll give you my full review of one gig fiber after 18 months the good and the bad. So today's video, we're gonna talk about wired speeds, uploads, downloads, we'll test our computers, and even our PlayStation 5. And we'll also test our wireless speeds with our Netgear WAX630. We'll also talk about any service issues like outages. And lastly, we'll compare the cost of CenturyLink fiber for 18 months versus the cost of Cox Cable for 18 months. And these numbers will surprise you. And one more thing, there'll be a link right here to the installation of the fiber optic cable. So make sure to watch that video after you're done watching this video. And that video has over 170,000 views, so it's gotta be good. So let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the speeds over our wired connections. Today's test, we're gonna test three different wired connections. We're gonna test my computer, and then we'll test my wife's computer, and then we'll test our PlayStation 5. And one thing to remember, even though we get 940 megabits per second from our ISP, the speed of our wired connections within our home network will vary. And there's a multitude of factors that can slow your internet speeds, like networking devices and how your network is set up. So let's go ahead and test our speeds. Okay, the speed test is done. Let's go over the results. All right, the speed test for my computer, we're getting 720 megabits per second download and 629 megabits per second upload. Now let's check my wife's computer. I'm not sure if you can see here, but we're getting 517 megabits per second download and 292 megabits per second upload. And both speeds for these computers are awesome. So now let's go ahead and test the PlayStation 5. And you can see that our PlayStation 5 is getting great results. All of our wired speeds are around 500 megabits per second or more. And now it's time for the wireless speed test. These are our current Wi-Fi speeds in our home office right now. 576 megabits per second. And we tested our Wi-Fi in different rooms throughout our house. And our speeds range from 350 megabits per second all the way to 850 megabits per second. And those speeds are faster than our wired speeds. Amazing. So now we're gonna talk about any service problems we may have had with CenturyLink. We had two outages in 18 months, and both outages occurred during construction accidents. And we have a lot of new construction in our area, so it makes sense that fiber lines can be cut or damaged during new home construction. But the most important part of these outages is that they lasted less than 24 hours. And that's a great thing. Now we're saving the best for last. All right, we're gonna compare 18 months of CenturyLink fiber to 18 months of Cox Cable Gigablast. Both plans have the same download speeds. However, Cox Cable Gigablast has a max of 35 megabits per second on the upload. Strike one, Cox Cable. Let's talk about contracts. Cox Cable requires a 12 month contract. CenturyLink Fiber has no contract. With CenturyLink, you pay month to month $65. With Cox Cable Gigablast, 12 month contract is $99 a month. So let's do the numbers. 18 months of CenturyLink Fiber at $65 a month is $1,170. And 18 months of Cox Cable Gigablast is $1,782. If my calculations are correct, and they are, you'll save $612 by going to CenturyLink Fiber. So it's a no brainer. And guys, there's no reason why you should go to Cox Cable Gigablast. It's too expensive. They require a 12 month contract. Your upload speeds are maxed out at 35 megabits per second. And knowing Cox Cable, after 12 months, your rate's gonna go up. It always does. So with CenturyLink Fiber, $65 a month, no contract, it never goes up. There's no cap on the upload speeds, and I've proven that showing you our upload speeds. And we've had our fair share of Cox Cable issues as far as service problems and outages. So with any internet service, you're gonna have outages every once in a while. And I can't think of any reason why you shouldn't have CenturyLink Fiber, unless of course there's no fiber in your area. And guys, if you like this video and this kind of content, please give a thumbs up and share it. And remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.